Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video with me today. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply gold leaf onto wood. So I have got other videos on gold leaf but I haven't actually done any tutorials on how I apply it to wood. And I have this beautiful jewellery box that I had as a child and it needs a bit of TLC. It's a bit old, it's looking a bit worn out and I thought what better than to add some gold leaf. Um, so what I wanted to do was add some gold leaf onto this wooden design on the top. So a few of the materials I've got today, I've got some gilding paste, which is also called size. And basically it's water-based glue, especially for gold leaf. And the difference with this is that genuine gold leaf, which is what we're using today, is very, very fragile. And if you use normal glue or um, PVA, glow stick, that kind of stuff, it will just disintegrate. To apply it, I'm using this colour shaper. And this is a rubber tool. And what it means is that it won't soak up in a brush and harden it. Once you use this with the glue, you can literally peel it off. It's super easy and it's much better than using a paintbrush. I'm gonna put links below for all the products that I use today. So check them out if you would like to buy the same thing. So this gilding paste is from P-E-B-E-O, P-B-O. So I've got my genuine gold leaf here. You can buy these online, I buy mine off Amazon. When using genuine gold leaf, you don't actually have to put a varnish on it of any kind. If you are using imitation leaf, then you do need to. The gold leaf is separated by these wax sheets and that is super helpful for transferring the leaf onto the product that you're using on. I've also got a brush and um, a dry brush. This one um, I literally just got from a makeup store. Please do not use any brushes that you've already used on your face or it, with makeup. Even if you've washed them and dried them, they will still most likely have bits of foundation or blusher in it and that can ruin the overall effect. So just um, buy one and make sure you keep it aside just for your gold leaf projects. I would say try to get a fairly soft brush, you don't want hard bristles because that will scratch the gold leaf. So a fairly soft brush um, is best. So the first thing I'm going to do is wipe over my jewellery box here. So you don't want to use a wipe that is greasy at all, preferably not one that has fragrance or alcohol as well. So um, I find that baby wipes are fine, just plain baby wipes. Just wipe over my product just because it's quite old, it's probably got quite a bit of dust in it and you can see actually it's coming off. Um, and I don't want, you know, dust being underneath or any kind of grime. So I'm just going to wipe my whole product. Uh, I'm going to be careful when it comes to these bits because obviously I don't want fine bits of the wipe to get stuck in there. So I'm kind of just going to do like a dabbing effect just to pick up any bits of dust or dirt that might be on, on the top. And then wipe over this top design as well. And also just as a double check, I'm going to use a hairdryer on a cool setting and blast it for a few seconds just to, if there is anything, any dust or something that can get it out. Um, so make sure it's on cold. Also make sure your gold leaf is nowhere near that hairdryer, otherwise it will fly away. Try not to touch the jewellery box too much after you've dried it as the gold leaf will literally attach to any kind of moisture and there is always some form of moisture or grease on our hands. Um, so from now on, try not to touch your box. If you feel like you will, then it might be an idea to wear some gloves. Or do what I'm going to do and I'm just going to cut out a tiny bit of this plastic section just have a little bit extra here and I'm going to use that to sort of place over my jewellery box and lean on when I'm using the side, the liquid glue, the size. So when it comes to applying the glue, wood is a fairly porous surface, it's like paper, it will absorb some of the liquid, whereas plastic or glass obviously won't. 
so you want to apply a fair amount you don't want it to be swimming obviously in it um, especially because the gold leaf is so fragile so we don't want the, a tiny bit but also we don't want a lot so I'm going to show you um, how I do it just shake that up <laughs> before we get it going I'm just going to pour a bit of the size into the top here there we go and I'm going to go ahead use my colour shaper just make sure that it's clean you're just zoomed in slightly to get a better view so I'm going to dip in my colour shaper so you'll put that over there and I'm going to lightly brush the surface of every section that I want the gold leaf to apply to it's quite helpful because the wood is going a slightly dark colour um, the bits that I've applied glue on so that's helpful for me to know which bits I've done okay so I've just finished this kind of section there and the way to figure out whether the glue is ready or not is to use your knuckle and just very very lightly press against the wood if you feel a clicking sound then it's ready to go if it's wet obviously it's not ready to go and if it's completely dry then you need to reapply it it, it seems okay I like this top bit because it was quite a while ago now I'm just going to reapply just a tiny bit again we can um, apply a second round of gold leaf if if there's certain sections that I haven't picked up so it's um it's not the end of the world if if it doesn't pick up on everything it is you do kind of have to work a bit quicker actually and you're going to grab your gold leaf again like I said they are in these um wax paper so I'm going to open one there's the gold leaf there and I'm literally going to really carefully turn it upside down onto there we go so I'm just going to kind of uh, pull that away what I can actually do is pop the plastic over it and press down with my brush just going to lift that off ok there's a section that's come off on the plastic here because um, I don't have any um, I didn't have any glue there so I'm actually going to use that because there's a little bit at the bottom that I didn't manage to get it onto so I can just pop that on the bottom there I'm just I've got a cup here and because if I can save some I will <laughs> they'll only be flakes but they're quite handy to use so I'm going to brush this off very very softly it's already looking pretty gorgeous so I don't think I'm actually saving any <laughs> but anyway it stops it from flying into the air um, so carry on just brushing off really really softly at the minute just side to side up and down I'm going to do a circular motion just to get everything off okay let's just show you here I mean look at that already look how it's completely changed how the box looks so that used one sheet so I would say for you probably need three for the whole box here so I'm going to carry on and do this middle section here now next so I'm um, basically going to do the same thing again so I'm just going to do a time lapse of this one So I'm just finishing this last section here and I think I would quite like to um, include some of this um, middle design uh, so I'm going to actually whilst it's just still on there because I've got a bit left over there um, just cover these 
design, little design bits. I'm not sure if I trust myself to do these bits or not, so I'm just going to start with <laughs> doing this. Just these bits, and these these aren't wood. I don't know what this bit is made up of, but it's not wood, so it's not going to sort of soak in as much as the wood is. So it might need a bit longer to dry, or just not so much product, maybe. Really trying to decide whether, maybe, okay, I'm going to give it a go and try and do these really thin bits. let's start with what I've done. So I'm going to try and pick up some of this bit. If there are any bits where the gold leaf has gone that you don't want to have gone, then just use a baby wipe again and just kind of um, dig into the sections. Okay so here is the final product. I'm really really happy with it. It is so gorgeous when the light shines on it. I'm going to try and show you in different views as well in a second um, but just to say thanks for watching this video today. I hope it's given you some tips and I hope that you all give it a go and I would love to hear how your projects turn out. Please write in the comments below. Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all soon with a new video. Bye guys.